Welcome back. Our time now is 6.50 and a school district in upstate New York says there is no place for Netflix's series Squid Game on its campuses this Halloween. Principals from three elementary schools banned costumes from the popular Korean TV drama after children were hitting and kicking each other on the playground, depicting scenes from the show. These are elementary school kids, by the way. In Squid Game, South Koreans in serious financial debt wager their lives in a series of children's games to win a huge cash prize. The show has officially broken records, becoming Netflix's biggest series launch by reaching more than 111 million viewers. You've heard us talk about it. That series is just taking the world by storm. And joining us now to talk more about that show on Netflix is Dr. Corey Gonzalez. He is a clinical psychologist here in Bakersfield. Dr. Gonzalez, thanks so much for joining us. Good morning, Alex. I want to just talk a little bit about this show because so you don't even have to watch it to know what this show it is kind of about in the sense of we know that it is violent and we know that it is taking the world by storm. I just want to first get your thoughts to um, obviously a lot of people who don't know anything about the show know that it is in fact violent. I want to just kind of talk to you about that for just a bit. What do you, uh, maybe what is a, a warning for, for parents out there who have kids, uh, who have access to Netflix, what is your warning to parents out there? Well, this is not, this is for adult or this is for mature audiences. This right. should not be for kids. Um, I think there's, you know, children under, you know, they're below teens, preteens should not be watching this show. Mm -hmm. Just too violent. It's too hard for them to process that kind of violence. They don't know what to do with it can impact them. But certainly teenagers, if it's supervised, there can be some teaching moments. There's some parallels in this show. If you can get beyond the violence, they're important that's going on in real life. I think that's so important that you talked about because I think a lot of the conversation has been about the violence and it is extreme. I mean, we cannot, we cannot un uh, underline that enough. The violence is extreme. Uh, you know, the series, it's a fictional drama in which contestants, you know, they play these kid games. If you win, you get that huge cash prize. If you lose, you're killed. Um, Talk a little bit about that message and why do you think it might be important for maybe parents to talk to their older kids, uh, you said that mature audience, about what this show is all about. It's fascinating. Well, so there's some strong messages about wealth, disparity, and privilege, and, and fear, and survival. We've had other literature about this. You know, we've right. had George Orwell's Animal Farm. Um, but also, there, there's, you know, we're in a capitalistic society and we have a lot of people that get themselves into greed and debt and have a lot of problems, feel powerless and hopeless. So the content is, is there's a lot of rich content there that's parallel to our life here. But also, you have to understand, for teenagers, there's a lot of social traction in understanding the highest trending show of all time, to be able to talk about these things. So parents, you can buffer that that violence and that disturbing images by watching it with them, mm -hmm. talking to them about what they see, help them process information. And again, kids have been isolated for a long time. Right. This show gives them some social traction, the FOMO effect as it right. is, and it can also help them socially. I mean, you talk about, I mean, unfortunately, you saw those kids in New York that are um, wearing costumes and they're acting out squid games, those, those kids. At an elementary school, again, you're, you're, we're talking about the violence here, unfortunately, which is 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 the wrong thing to focus on. It, it is this it is this message here. What is your what is your advice for parents? And, and at what age do you think would you recommend? Okay, I, I know, especially in that age, especially for teenagers, you know, some teens are more mature than others. But what would you recommend uh, for parents? Uh, at what age should they start uh, sitting down with their children and watching this, or at least having that conversation with them about it? Well, I think it, for Independent children, 16 and over, could probably watch okay. this. Okay. But, but I think for preteens, stay away from children, stay away from the mm -hmm. show. But if you're a teenager, I think parents, even though you may not be interested in it, I think you'd be doing a, a, your child a disservice to ignore it. I think they're to, talking about it at schools. Yeah, they are. Yeah, and it gives their like friends. I said, it gives them social attraction, the number one trending show, but it gives teaching moments mm -hmm. to talk about these things. If you can look below it, there's a lot of parallels about you just being feel like a number. Who are these anonymous people at the top making decisions and dividing us? You know, whether it's politics or insurance companies or whatever it may be, media, social media. These are important messages that we need to help them process and work through. As a parent, you can buffer some of this stuff, but start with what they know, their interpretations, and help them work through it. So again, the, there is a, a lot to unpack here. There, this is something that 
Uh, again, if you at home are not uh, aware of this show, if you don't necessarily know what it's about, uh, and you have children who are going to school, like you said, Dr. Gonzalez, they're talking about it with their friends, and we can all get Netflix on TV. They will get access to it. Yeah. They will get yeah. access yes. to it. I think that's also important to, yeah. to remember that uh, you might think that Netflix is simply just on your smart TV, not just the case. It's also on the smart devices, which they can take to their room and so forth. Yes, yeah, and so. the more you try to deny it or you know, prohibit it, the yeah. more you'll get popular. So right. it's a new world now. The access to information is a whole different world. Help them navigate through this, help them understand it, make it teaching moments for them. Yeah, fascinating. All right, Dr. Gonzalez, as always, thanks so much for coming on to talk about this.